but at this point everyone's like like yep. real paranoid right yes. so they're trying to see who faked the signal because right. this signal is just too good yes right like god isn't this kind yes um and at the end of the day it's like okay is this a prank all there's like all right do you do it did you do it what about you what about did you do it <laughs> and everyone's like no we didn't do it and it's like shit. <laughs> silence descends yeah, across the it's room like, dude what okay so this is september 14th 2015 God, it's at just 10 years four, ago. Yeah, it's at 4.50 a.m. Mm -hmm. The LIGO computers at both Louisiana and Hanford detect something. Mm -hmm. And they've got an automated email system mm -hmm. that sends it out to like a core group of people. They look at this. They're like, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because it's so beautiful. Oh. The, the, the signal is like is like something you know like you do simulations and yeah. you're like this is what it should look yeah, like yeah, yeah. and then out comes an email saying hey this is what I found. <laughs> it's like okay it's exactly like it's like same. exactly like what you're simulating so it's like no right and all of the big scientists are like no this is too good to be true the the guy at Caltech actually was ju was just like I don't have time for this. <laughs> he didn't. He he looked at the email. He's like, yeah. and then he just went on about because he's got other stuff to do. His grad students and postdocs are like, did you see the? Did you see did the you email? See? And he's just like, dude, it's you young people. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. This, this is not how it works. Okay. The world is not idealistic. Yeah, yeah. The world. <laughs> this is not how it works. And maybe there's a guy who's injecting the the fake data in there to see if the email alert works. Right. So they call everybody who's in charge of that. And he's like, no, dude, I didn't do that. Yeah. Um, they go back into the nitty gritty of the data yeah. of the raw data. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, it's, it's in the raw, raw data. data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, okay. So, so now they just start getting real paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, who is doing this? Yeah, yeah, right. And it turns out there's only a handful of people that know the instrument right. at such a level where they can, they've covered all their tracks. Right, 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 right. Right. Yeah. And pretty soon they start thinking like, actually, it, it can't be a single person, yeah, because I, it happened at both Washington and Louisiana. Uh, yeah. So, it, has so to be, it must be a bunch of people. people. So now it's like there's a giant conspiracy, and everyone's looking at each other like, okay, what is what's going on? Then it turns out, um, that night on September 14th, there were two postdocs outside of the Livingston facility that were trying to test the system. We got in their car. And they were just driving down the arms oh, yeah, yeah. and just like accelerating and then breaking uh, and yeah. accelerating and then breaking. They were trying to see if this would inject noise yes. into the into the Livingston facility. Yes. But they had stopped at four o'clock because yes. the guy had to catch a flight. So uh, they call up these postdocs and they're like, what were you doing yeah. at 4.50 a.m.? <laughs> it's like 4.50. Actually, no, I know for a fact that I was driving to the airport. Yes. So it definitely wasn't me. I was nowhere near. And also, like, why would it? Why would that happen at the Washington, Washington facility? 